do. As you know, Dr. Keith Smith, they started their center in 1997. Uh, they had 40 of the best physicians. And since that, he'll tell you that it's been a great journey towards trying to provide people the care that they need at a price that doesn't bankrupt their families. So join me right now in welcoming Dr. Keith Smith. Welcome. It's about, it's about twice as big as it was last year. How many were here last year? Look at all the new faces. Very good. Well, welcome to the Free Market Medical Association. I have the distinct pleasure and honor of, of opening this, and I plan to um, set the tone um, in a way that those who should be at an American Hospital Association or AMA meeting will know to adjourn early. Just some housekeeping things. Uh, those of you that are on Twitter the, and tweeting this, the hashtag, Megan, correct me if I'm wrong, is got transparency question mark. Is that right? Okay. I couldn't believe the number of tweets that came out of this last year. So, Last year we waited until the end of the meeting to thank the people who are responsible for this. Um, Obviously, Jay and Charlie and I are the Free Market Medical Association along with all of you as members, but the ability to actually gather like this is due to the hard work of some people that might actually remain unnamed, but I'm going to name them, and we're going to do it now instead of at the end. We may do it also at the end. Jonathan Small, thank you for hosting very much. Um, ben West is in the back. Everything you see that is... Anything to do with lighting, sound, video, that's Ben. Ben, stand up. <laughs> Mindy McClure and Chelsea Lynn, I think, are outside uh, in registration. And then the team leader, the one that's kept us all together and has really made this happen, is Megan. Megan, <laughs> wave to us, Megan. Yeah, thank you. Some more housekeeping. If you have questions, please go to the three microphones. Do not ask them from your chairs. Otherwise, they'll be lost and we won't know or the speaker will have to repeat the question. But there's one here, there's one in the middle, and then there's one over by the mirror there. I normally start these talks out by saying I shouldn't be here. Because all we've really done at the Surgery Center of Oklahoma is say, here's what we do and here's how much it is. And I get criticized for saying that's how simple it was. But it, the hardest thing was making it simple. The hardest thing was saying, here's what we do and here's how much it is. That's what every other industry does. So that, that what we've done has been a novelty is truly an indication of how sick and messed up things are that other people deride even the concept of here's what I do and here's how much it is. More importantly, not only should I not be here, this is the meeting, this is the gathering, these are the conversations that are not supposed to happen. The buyers and the sellers together without the intermediaries with their fog machines. My friend Tom Bartlett talks about the broker method FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And it's basically fog machines that keep people from wrapping their minds around this concept of here is what I do and here's how much it is. So last night at dinner, there was a conversation that happened that's not supposed to happen. And Jonathan Small was part of it. And I was just laughing out loud because he's having this conversation and it was just not supposed to happen. And Jake Kempton was there, and there was this information exchange, and it's just one of those dirty little secrets in healthcare that people are not supposed to talk about. And I've already seen it this morning. I've already seen, I've already seen people connect with people who they want to connect with. So I shouldn't be here, really, but this is really a nightmare for the cartel. This is not, this is not what they want. This is really a disaster, and thank you all for being here. I've changed the title of this talk probably 10 times, um, and I'm still not sure I like the title. It really 
is redundant. Free markets give you better outcomes and faster access. I could have called it hooray for the tinfoil hats because that's what we are, right? We met a year ago and we were talking about free markets and healthcare and that, and that free markets actually apply to healthcare. And I'm reminded of Gandhi's saying, you know, in India, he said, first they ignored us, then they laughed at us, then they fought us, then we won. And that's this concept. A lot of people don't believe in free markets at all. But those who do believe in free markets, many of them believe that they do not apply to health care. And we all know that's true, but you darn sure sound like a tinfoil hat in the very recent past if you made this claim. So everyone in here, you know, if I'd thought ahead, I would have had tinfoil hats at all the tables because you're, you're all part of that crowd now. Or how about for another title, honest people dealing together gives better results for less money. How about that? I mean, that is just, it's almost redundant to have a talk. And so then to define better outcomes, faster access at an affordable price, how, how do you calculate these prices? You know, who, who defines what is better access? What is, what is better access? What, are, what is better pricing? And it occurred to me as I've traveled all over the country giving this message, even though I'm older than when I started doing this, things are not gray at all. In this business, it's black and white. There's right and there's wrong. And there are the thieving members of the cartel, and then there are the free market warriors, the people that are standing up to it. And this room is full of, of the good guys. Well, that's what FMMA is. And I would encourage each and every one of you at the table that you're at, ask whoever is there, what do you do? And what you'll find will be very different than in any other gathering in a healthcare because what the person standing next to you will say will be something you will very clearly understand and will bring obvious value to the exchange. Are you a patient? Are there patients in here? I mean, we're all potentially patients. If you are participating in the free market healthcare system, then you are a part of a mutually beneficial exchange if you're dealing with someone who's been honest about their pricing. If you're a physician or you represent a facility that's providing pricing, you are part of the mutually beneficial exchange in the free market and healthcare. Are you a facilitator? Are you an intermediary that helps that exchange? The people in this room that that fulfill that function, I would encourage any of you who don't completely understand that role to ask them. My friend Jay Kempton tonight in his remarks, who is the master, I believe, of putting in layman's terms, what is self-funding? How does that work? You're, you're in for a treat tonight. I have inside information on his speech and I've seen it and it's going to be awesome. Um, but the the question in healthcare, what do you do? If you went to an American Hospital Association meeting or a meeting where there were just a bunch of car carriers and you ask, well, what do you do? Or you go to the vendors at any one of these meetings and what do you do? The answer you would get would just be very confusing. You couldn't really figure out what do they do? I mean, how do they bring value ultimately? And that is what the Free Market Medical Association in this gathering is about. It's about the players that bring value, the buyers, the sellers, and those who help it along. I think about a bridge, a treacherous bridge, and there are trolls underneath, and there are guides standing waiting. And without the guides, you're probably not going to make it to the other side alive. And the facilitators are the ones who say, take my arm and I will help you get to the other side. The trolls are the toll takers. They're the toll seekers. They bring no value. It's all coercive. It's all leveraged. If you don't pay the troll, he will eat you and you will never make it to the other side. That is how I view, that is how I view the members of the Free Market Medical Association. You're either a patient traveling, you're a, you're a, a provider that is actually providing the service, which, is a, which can be kind of a treacherous, treacherous journey. 
you're a facilitator, a guide that helps this journey, or you're a troll. And there are a lot of trolls in healthcare. Um, and I've, I've talked about them at length, and we're not going to dwell on the trolls, but there are a lot of trolls. The way to find out who they are is to ask them, what do you do? And if you cannot clearly understand what they do and how it brings value, they are going to eat you, or they're going to eat some part of you. So what are better outcomes? We're talking about finance. We're talking about money. I was given this at lunch. This comes from the folks at HealthSmart. This is a, a study they've done that shows, I can share this, can I? This shows the savings that one client, Oklahoma County, experienced in one year. I'll go back over this because this is incredible. 127 surgeries, savings, $2.4 million to their health plan, and 1,100 lives, is that about right? 1,100 lives. Now, I learned at lunch that actually $2.4 million in savings for a health plan is, that actually is not the right number, because it doesn't include what the patients or in the employees of Oklahoma County did not spend. It does not include their out-of-pocket. And it's about half a million, isn't it? That's the last figure that I saw. In December, uh, Dr. Launchy and I, December's a busy month at the surgery center, uh, but when we would talk to patients who were clients of, or employees of Oklahoma County, or they were employees of Bank First, or they were part of, uh, they were, or, or just an individual that found us on the internet and they came and they paid for the surgery and they said, we're having a Christmas this year because of this pricing. I mean, they were spared bankruptcy and not only that, but they actually were able to have a, a Christmas. And so the, the, the savings, the out-of-pocket savings to the employees was remarkable. But again, there are trolls out there there are people out there that would say, no, that savings is not real. That's not real. You're using number. You're using wrong numbers. You're faking and baking the numbers, and it's not real. And they're whispering in the ears of the employees and of the employers and of the third-party administrators and of the people in the human resources saying, you know, those numbers are not right. If you really look at the discounts that we can achieve for you, then you know those numbers really are not. Those those savings are false. When that became clearly, when it became very clear that that was a lie that the carriers were telling, their next attempt, the next troll attempt, was to say, well, you know, the utilization is off the charts because the patients maybe don't have any out of pocket from these self-funded companies and and the physicians are being paid 100% of their fee, and so obviously being overutilized. So you're saying, I saved all this money on a rotator cuff repair that likely shouldn't have even been done. Well, when all the dust settled, uh, Bank First looked at their savings, and even if you grant, even if you grant the overutilization argument, which is absolutely false, and I'll get to that, even if you grant them that, they actually saved real money. So their overall health spend went down, and it looks even worse if you say their overall health spend went down in the face of overutilization. So it's a, it's a, the trolls are really running out of bullets. And here in Oklahoma City, here in Oklahoma, in this area, this movement is, is really shaking up the bad guys. It is truly shaking up the market. Um, the Integris Hospital has prices online, and they don't mean anything because they have so many asterisks by them and what they don't include. But they have prices online. The, the ones who said from the very beginning, we cannot do this, this is impossible, you cannot price these services. Deaconess Hospital, which I mentioned last year and has been been a pretty good player, is now an incredible player in this space. So we now have we have a full-service hospital that has embraced this and from whom I can get prices in 24 hours for even the most complex procedures. That's actually working beautifully. All of the wagons are beginning to circle around this idea, 
and there are fewer and fewer places that the trolls can point and say, yeah, but this is not covered. All of these wagons are circling, and many of the people in this room have facilities far from Oklahoma who, who are doing basically the same thing, saying, here's what I do, and here's how much it is, and the people that are truly exposed are the corporate health care, the, the trash, the trash that has really bankrupted and has given poor outcomes, worse access, and they're truly exposed with this one powerful move, and that is posting prices, price transparency. So to set the tone of this meeting, for Jay, for Charlie, for me, this kind of gets it, but it's really black and white. It's right and wrong. And in this room, as you talk to people at the table and you ask them, what do you do? And you hear the clear answer, how they bring value, that will validate the black and white and the right and wrong. There really is no room in between. There is no gray area for the provision of health care. And that is what the FMMA is. That's what its mission is. Jay's going to break it down and actually describe what we believe are the pillars of this association. But I would ask you to keep in mind, we consider this very black and white. It's right and wrong. And that is why we have seen better outcomes, faster access, and it's why everyone is a winner in this movement, except the bad guys. Thank you for coming. I've probably finished a little early, and I, if you have any questions at all, I'll take them. Otherwise, we'll move on. Thanks again. <laughs>